es en el Lincoln Center. Vinimos hasta el Upper West Side para visitar la exposición American Sabor Latinos in the US. Vengan conmigo. We will start asking you what is this exhibition about and why today we have the pleasure to have it in New York. American Sabor is a major exhibition, traveling exhibition on the role of Latinos in U.S. popular music. Yes. The part of the exhibition that travels uh, was put together by the Smithsonian Institution and the Experience Music Project in Seattle. And it deals with Latino popular music and its impact on U.S. popular music in the five major markets. Um, San Francisco, Los Angeles, San Antonio, Miami, and of course New York. Yes. And with this exhibition, the New York Public Library has also um, developed a small exhibition which focuses on the um, importance of Latino popular music and how it was transmitted to America um, through technical developments happening in the early 20th century. interesting what you are pointing kind of like the infrastructure yes. that allows the this uh, cultural expressions to spread right. and to penetrate yes. the culture and I wanted to ask you because I was very interested of because this aligns uh, with the broader story that is the story of immigration very much of so. intercultural yes. uh, how, how, how important is to show from, from your curator perspective to tell this story and to see how, uh, how much of American culture has Latin it's, elements? It's an enormously important story um, and it's a story that's different in the five major markets because of the way immigration worked it's, in America. Exactly. What, what was happening in New York and also Miami was this mixture of pretty much everything from the Caribbean, primarily Spanish language, but not only Spanish language. So yes. New York, you know, we had the, the Cuban nightclubs and the dance music yes. and then salsa, which is this, you know, combination of everything developed in New York as well as hip-hop and rap. One of the things about this exhibition um, that I think surprised people, but it, it works very well, is the importance of social dance in popular music. And that social dance was one of the purveyors of the popular music. So we had, you know, the tango and the machiche coming up um, from South America. And then, of course, the, um, as, as we got into the nightclub scene, the rumba and the mambo, um, just bringing the music with it. And um, so, a, a lot of the decoration in the exhibition is actually scenes of social dance rather than scenes of instruments. Yeah, oh, because um, it's more like the interactive part of where it, it penetrates the experience. Yes. And as we go into the traveling part of the exhibition, there are displays, of course, but there's also quite a lot of 
interactive materials. I'm particularly fond of these two, which have curators talking about different kinds of music. One more interactive that I particularly enjoy playing with myself, but you can select a kind of music, yes. a different rhythm, and you can you know, play record producer. There's a web page, um, americansubor.org, and it is um, a sort of a common web page for the exhibition. So even if uh, people are not in the U.S., they still can see what it's about, yes. the history, yes. and also listen to music because they have the... And the music, yes, there's a wonderful <laughs> playlist. so much for oh, being welcome. with us and it was a beautiful explanation. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Para terminar me despido invitándolos a que suscriban al canal Cosmo Arte TV y los veo el próximo jueves en nuestra próxima cita con el arte. Chau chau.